In my last video, I talked about the relative uselessness of what is called choiceless awareness. However, I must tell you that in a non-practical sense, it will be useful somewhat if you are bothered by too many thoughts. There, are, there is too much traffic going on in the mind. Then probably you could uh, take a standoff view and then keep watching thoughts without participating in it. That's one use of it. And another use of it, if you are uh, obsessed on thoughts and then identifying with thoughts, uh, thought watching could be useful. And uh, most people who are uh, really into enlightenment uh, think that it could help them to get take you into insight or or uh, a revelatory uh, experience, it is possible that it can happen too. But then, for all practical purposes, for the ordinary human beings, the practical thing is how to use the thoughts, how to select the thoughts and use them. Because, as I said in the previous video, that it is the thought that becomes matter. So you have to be very, very careful about what you are thinking. And if you don't care about manifestation, then you can go ahead and do thought watching. And then you probably won't be able to accomplish on the material plane by doing so. So, I'm not totally as I have presented in this video, my views. I'm not totally against thought watching, but from a practical standpoint, just go on thinking. But you need to think, not too many thoughts, but stay with one thought and make the thought very powerful. This is uh, what Patanjali recommends if you want to gain focus. Samadhi is not simply a trance, but also it means focus, total focus. If you have total focus on a thought, that thought will manifest. And this is a very practical teaching. God bless.